I think it's become a common theme that I'm definitely a pretty big simp on this channel. Like, I I crush pretty hard on some of these characters. And I'm going to be transparent. Patty Spivitt's up there, man. I know I talk about Linda Park. I talk about Felicity and how I love those characters. But I was thinking to myself, well, a lot of my buddies, they're like, yo, Patty Spivitt, she's legit. Like, she is the GOAT, right? She is the best love interest for CW Flash. And I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I was like, I'm going to rewatch all the episodes with Patty Spivitt. And I'm talking about the OG Patty Spivitt from season two. I know they recasted her, like, I think in season seven, like way later on. Or quote unquote recasted her, right? It was a whole universe thing. But I'm talking about OG Patty Spivitt. And I rewatched it. And I'm not going to lie. CW Flash's Patty Spivitt, or Patty Spivitt, excuse me, absolutely broke my heart. And. Not for the reason you think. I mean, she didn't break my heart because she crushed my feelings or, you know, all this stuff. Or she did something bad. But I'm going to be honest. I just realized that she's such a good love interest. And then she was just written out of the show. Just gone entirely. And I know there are reasons for that. I know a lot of you are like, oh, the character's not bad. It's the writer. And I, I hear you. I hear you. But I could just talk about the writer or only talking about the writer would kind of make a bit of a boring video. So I got to talk about the characters themselves, right? I love Patty. And from her introduction to the end um, to where she basically leaves, I absolutely love and adore her, right? The intro to Pavy Sp Patty Spivet is uh, more or less a fan of sorts, right? She's a fangirl in a way of Barry. She loves his forensic reports and all that stuff. And it kind of just gives me this massive nerd vibe. And it's obvious she is a nerd, just like Barry should be portrayed, right? Barry is a nerd too, right? He's super into forensics. Like, he's super, super duper ner nerdy. So the fact is that she's nerdy as well. That always, always helps, right? And then we get the whole thing where she actually knows quite a bit about forensics, but she decided that she wanted to be out in the field. Like, that's what she would rather do. She would rather be out in the field, out where the action is, because she feels like that's where she can make the most difference. But she obviously knows the science. She obviously is a nerd for the forensic science as well. So it sounds like, honestly that Barry found the perfect girl in general, right? And there's a, re there's a reason why a lot of people truly believe that Patty should have ended up with Barry because just like Caitlyn, Patty is kind of an even better version of that, you could say. I, I'm, I'm no, no diss to Caitlyn. I love Caitlyn Snow. But she is on more of the side of forensic science where... You know, Caitlyn isn't necessarily to the forensic science side of things, right? She's a scientist, but it's a little bit different in terms of what she understands and knows compared to what Patty understands and knows, right? Being an um, being an officer or a cop or an, inves uh, an investigator, but on top of that, knowing the forensics and stuff like that, it's such an amazing thing for Barry and her together because they just click right off the bat, like immediately. It's a beautiful thing. Their chemistry is beautiful. They make references together and all this stuff. And Barry even saves her in the very first episode that she shows up. Saves her from a bomb and, and a guy that can turn into sand and, and stuff like that. But it is absolutely amazing what kind of chemistry these two have. And they end up just having some wholesome, good interactions. Now, they are awkward. Don't get me wrong. But you can tell that they are going through a stage of like, they both are crushing on each other, right? Even if Barry is a little bit delusional to the fact of like that he's kind of gaming her up, you know what I'm saying? Like risen her up a little bit. He is a little delusional. And we always love that version of Barry who's got this like kind of charisma to him and is so loose with what he's talking about. And he's just enjoying the conversation, enjoys being around her. And it's, it's honestly amazing the way they act around each other. And you can tell they are going through the will they, won't they type of dating phase where they're like, they're not quite dating yet, but everybody around them is like, yeah, this looks like y'all should be dating already. Like, hurry the hell up and get together, right? But their nerdy interactions are honestly the best. The, t the two people or having two people 
that have one main similar nerdy interest is always, always the best. And just from personal experience, you know, friend or more than a friend, when having a convo with someone that is just as nerdy about a subject as you, it's one of the best things in the world. You two going back and forth about the, the, the things that you like about it, the things you dislike about it, the things you agree on, things you don't agree on, right? I think it's one of the best things to rant and rave about because having somebody that has similar interests to you doesn't have to have every single interest as you, but similar interests is one of the biggest things for a partnership, right? Passion is something you should always look for in a partner. And pro tip from a guy who makes, you know, videos on superheroes, but I love Patty for her passion, right? Her passion on things, what she enjoys, the reason why she's go she approaches life the way she approaches it, the reason why she wants to be on the MetaHuman Task Force, all of these things. And this, all of this, all the nerdy interactions and all the great interactions, by the way, very cute interactions too, would eventually lead to their first date, which was hands down, and I will argue about this like forever. I honestly believe hands down that this was one of the best CW writing um, of a date scenario like ever. Normally CW really messes up their, their dates, really messes up their, their whole interactions with male and female characters. Normally it sucks, and I'm just gonna be honest. Normally it does, but in this, well, in this reality or in this version of their little date, it was honestly amazing because Barry actually goes on the date blind. No, not like, oh, we're going on a blind date like we don't know where we're going or who we're going with. He goes on the date blind because he got blasted by somebody by, well, I believe it was a different version of Linda Park from Earth 2 and it completely made it so he couldn't see at all. So he's trying to hide it with sunglasses and Cisco is trying to coach him up and, you know, say these things. And then I believe if I remember correctly, and I rewatched this, but I don't have it written down here. So I apologize, but I believe Patty responds and eventually responds like, oh yeah, my, like my shirt looks nice. What color is it? Or something of that manner, or my dress looks nice. what color is it? And Barry doesn't know because the feed is in black and white. And I find this to be so freaking hilarious. It's such a good setup for the date. And it kind of cuts the tension with a hot knife, like immediately. Because she even references like, hey, like I'm a detective. Honestly, I should have caught this like immediately. Like you're showing up to, to a date with, with sunglasses. You're stumbling over yourself. You're saying, hey, like I'll have whatever you have because I can't read the menu. You know what I mean? Like... It's such an amazing way to cut the tension of a date that would have been probably awkward in the first place, but eventually it just was smooth right over, right? Barry says like, oh yeah, I got surgery on my eyes and I really didn't want to cancel the date because, you know, there was a whole interaction where when they asked or when Barry asked her on a date, he, she goes, well... Are you going to cancel on me like your whole, um, I got science stuff to do? So Barry wanted to make sure that he got to that date, but he flat out was blind during that date. But it was such a cute and like wholesome moment. They're walking down the staircase and Barry's like, please like hold on to my arm like tight. Like I, I, <laughs> I don't want to slip and fall. And it was so cute and adorable, man. It was so good. And, and honestly, Patty's one of those characters and actually similar to a character that I talked about in Spectacular Spider-Man in Liz, who is very understanding, right? She stands or she sits there and she understands the stuff that Barry has gone through. And she can really, she's one of those people that can really think about what, what he's saying, what happened to him, what he's going through and all of the above and forgives him on multiple occasions, right? And makes it so that she's honestly the best girlfriend ever like he continues to kind of mess up or quote unquote mess up because we obviously know like there's a time where he runs away but then the flash comes in and and saves them and stuff like that right we know that's him but patty at the moment doesn't really know that's him so to her she's like you just ran away and left me there right but still 
she's able to forgive him for that and all of on all of that right and it was truly amazing watching this like whole totality of their relationship and how it grew and then eventually eventually we get the whole berries like i want to tell her i want to tell her that well i'm the flash i want to tell her who i am this and that and it's like oh yeah go right ahead caitlin's on board uh, cisco's on board everyone's on board harrison wells though tells him something that's really going to break people's hearts and i remember when i watched this for the first time i was i just knew it would shatter shatter my freaking frail little emotional heart because he was like if you love her that much don't allow her to be in this don't put her in a position where she's ever in harm's way right and uh, i swear i'm not crying i did not just i just had a voice crack there but uh, I'm, i promise i'm not crying but yeah that's what it was right he's telling her or telling him hey don't put her in this situation don't put her in this scenario like you don't have to do this and you should let her go and eventually barry would push her away just push her away and i'm gonna be honest this hurt so bad seeing barry do this push and push and push her away because i'm a sucker for a good romance and we just had all these great romance moments between him and patty and i'm just like wow this this really sucks and this isn't even what broke my heart we even get further and further into this where barry ends up basically telling patty like hey i'm used to it my my, my family is like you know died like i have family members died i've i have people leave all the time like i'm used to people leaving but patty obviously wants him to say like hey I, I want you to stay or hey i want you to like you know stay with me and blah 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 and patty is just waiting for this and even kind of references it a little bit and even barry says that he's he's kind of used to watching people that he loves go away and patty's like you never told me that you loved me in which Barry says, well, I guess I'm not going to have that chance now, am I? Which is like, damn, Barry. Like, this is, li I know you're self-sabotaging on purpose, but this fucking hurts, man. And excuse my language, it's brutal. It hurts so bad hearing you say these things. Like, especially to someone as good as Patty, it was genuinely breaking my heart. And it goes even further because she even tells him and eventually kind of like breaks it all down for him like, she knows that he is the flash she's even apologetic about not noticing sooner that basically she understands that the burden he carries is so great and he denies and he denies and all she says is that if you admit it if you admit that you're the flash i'll stay like i'll stay in which he says i can't because i'm not him in which we know that he's him obviously but and patty knows but he knows that he needs to push her away for her own quote unquote safety. And oh, it hurts so bad, especially, and this is where my heart truly breaks because this is where Patty Spivet broke my heart and made me massively emotional because with her voice cracking and her beautiful acting, by the way, I think she's a fantastic actress. Her voice is cracking and she says, it's too bad. It would have been nice to stay, to fight crime during the day and be with you at night take care barry and oh my goodness this scene this scene just ripped my heart out threw it on the ground and smashed it into little tiny pieces i genuinely was super emotional at this scene i was genuinely super sad because patty's so good in this moment she's so like oh it's it's brutal because you know how good of a girl patty is how good of a woman patty is how good of a a girlfriend patty has been and to hear her say like like i basically would have sacrificed everything to be with you i would have threw it all away everything that i sought for before i would have threw it all away to be with you right because that's how much you meant to me and the idea of fighting crime during the day and being with 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 him at night would have been it, it it breaks my heart and sorry for stutter, stuttering so much there but it breaks my heart like her her voice is breaking she's she's like oh t take care barry and she just leaves it is it is brutal it is brutal and honestly 
there's no other way to put it other than it's heartbreaking. That's what it is. And look, I know they had to write her out of the show, and I'll say it over and over again because she was going on to other things, but hearing someone who genuinely loves Barry, of course, in the context of the show, right, break down into tears over wanting to stay so badly, but feeling like she wasn't good enough for him to even admit who he truly was or whatever he was trying to do or why why any reason why he was pushing her away and then eventually she even gets her confirmation of all of her suspicions on who he truly was when she calls him and says hey there's somebody on the train blah blah with a gun and guess who shows up barry allen as the flash and they stand there and she says oh sorry it was a false alarm in which he's he stops vibrating his head or stops uh, you know phasing his head so you can't see his face and he basically tells her i just wanted to make sure everything was okay and patty says yeah everything's fine in which he zooms off and leaves and patty gets her confirmation but it's like so brutal man it's brutal to watch this beautiful in my opinion beautiful relationship that they had that was blossoming that was developing that was so good the connection that patty had with the cast and 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 joe there could joe and her had great chemistry especially as like um as like you know detective partners or however you want to call it it was so good so freaking good but genuinely my heart was broken into pieces by patty spivet and yes it's not her fault it definitely was not her fault um but still, it still broke my heart hearing the words come out of Patty's mouth and bro- broke my heart that this relationship ended the way it ended with with the idea of Barry pushing away a loved one to keep her safe. Ah, it, it really does freaking suck. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say about Patty Spivet, um, about the, uh, the, you know, Patty and Barry ship and um, all of that and CW Flash in general. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment down below on what you would like to see next. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, YouTube believes that you'll enjoy this one. So might as well go check it out.